I love learning. I love learning new things. I like finding out cool things. Paleontology is chock full of all of those. My name is Dr. Nicole Peavy, and I am the staff paleontologist at CDOT. My job at CDOT is, uh, well, I tell the kids I protect the dinosaurs from getting squished in the roadside. I think a lot of it is about the, the detective work, the mystery. Sometimes you're just not going to know. Sometimes you have to fill in the gaps with a story. I, I get to go out and be kind of the face of CDOT environmental sometimes teaching kids about dinosaurs. I love doing that kind of outreach. Out by Canyon City, this particular project is going to involve widening the highway. There are a bunch of rocks that are a little bit younger and they do potentially have fossils. So the ones I'm gonna look at today are actually wee bitty. They're not something that's gonna look really pretty on display, but they're kind of cool because they represent some of the earliest fish. They didn't even have jaws or teeth yet. They had these kind of bony head plates and these are some of the earliest skeletons that we're seeing in the fossil record. And they tend to break up into wee little pieces. And so there's gonna be a lot of little white specks throughout this rock. Uh, I sometimes get questions about whether it's bad for the fossils that these kinds of projects have to happen. And it's really not. I will never see what's under there if that rock doesn't come away. And so it's actually a pretty good opportunity for me to see what else might be in those rocks. Fossils are a non-renewable resource. And so that is something that then both deserves and then legally gets protection. I didn't see a lot of female paleontologists when I was growing up. I did an interview a few months ago and one of the things that came up was I was utterly averse to the color pink. Uh, for just an embarrassingly long time because I felt that I could not be girly and still do what I do. And that I had to somehow be more like the boys in order to get into this field. And that's baloney, of course. Don't let you can't be what you can't see stop you, but also, also don't think that you have to change yourself in order to get into a field like this.